Hello, everybody, and welcome to an unexpected episode of the vloggy thing. It's unexpected because I had plans for tonight to uh, work, actually. I was elbow deep in coding when all of a sudden this guy started talking about things that I really don't give a flying fuck about. I'm like, what the shit's going on? I f at first, I thought it was something with wrong with the YouTube video I was watching. I was watching a uh, good boulder fist playing some car racing thing i don't know some tron like car racing thing and uh all of a sudden there was this guy just talking about random crap and i'm like what the shit's going on stop the youtube video guy's still talking i'm sitting there trying to track down what's making the noise there's nothing no tabs I have the little thing in firefox telling me that it's making noise i'm looking all over i'm closing tabs left and right i'm not finding anything that's making this noise and the noise is still going and i'm like what the shit is going on so i started digging into the process to see what's running and there's this there was this file this thing called ninjaloader.exe i'm like what the fuck are you and i looked it up and i found no information on what it was but I found a couple websites talking about getting rid of it. I'm like, ah, shit, I caught something. And as I'm digging through, I'm finding, let's see, what are you? You rad player, whatever the fuck that is. Um, KNCTR. These are icons that are on my desktop that magically appeared on my desktop, by the way. Uh, KNCTR. No idea what the frack that is. Uh, there was something called Weather Monitor, a service that magically showed up. All this shit just shows up in a matter of like 10 seconds on my PC. And I'm pissed, uh, to say the least. Um, so let me explain my security settings, basically. I have Adblock Plus installed on Firefox. Well, first step, I have Firefox instead of Internet Explorer. But I have Adblock Plus installed because I consider that a necessity of browsing the web nowadays. And it kind of is, depending on where you're browsing. It's kind of required for the internet. I do have it disabled for places like YouTube and Twitch um, and a couple other websites that I frequent regularly. But I keep it enabled for those websites that I just kind of stumble upon once and then never come back to because you never know what those things are. And honestly, I think this is where that problem came from. A malicious ad got through some filters somewhere, and that's what that the the voiceover was. Um, and yeah, because a lot of ads are actually starting to get through Adblock Plus because they know Adblock Plus exists, so they're learning how to work around Adblock Plus. So I think a malicious ad got through that, but. Uh, so on top of Firefox and Adblock Plus, I use NoScript, which I have enabled for everything, basically. I never have it disabled, except for websites that I know for sure what they are and what they do. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration. It's just, there's four websites that I trust, I take the risk for, like YouTube, for example, and Twitch. Um, so... All that. Those are the add-ons in Firefox that are, have security. I also have Windows Defender. That's built into Windows 8. Uh, Windows Defender. I have SpyBot Search and Destroy with its T-Timer. So uh, anything that changes, uh, like, uh, changes the registry or adds a service or anything like that is supposed to pop up with T-Timer saying, Hey, this thing's trying to change your registry. Do you want to allow it? I also have, and this is the big kicker here that pisses me off to absolutely no end, user account control. Now, if you don't know what user account control is, basically it's the thing in Windows that Linux users have been making fun of Windows users for for decades, basically. Um, if you're logged in as an administrator and something wants to change something on your system, well, before Windows Vista, I believe, so Windows XP and back, just allowed you to do it. But in Windows Vista, we got user account control. Basically, anything that tries to do administrative tasks on your PC, even if you're logged in as administrator, requests permission to do things. It says you must have administrative access to do it. So 
when you're logged into Windows, like in Windows 8 or Windows 7 or Windows Vista, when you're logged in as administrator, you're not really logged in as administrator, at least when you have user account control active. Um, I never disabled it in Windows 8. So every time I go to install something, the screen would go dim and it would pop up a Windows that says, hey, you're trying to do something that needs administrator of rights. Do you want to allow it? So I have that enabled still because I was just too lazy to disable it. And yet still, all of these programs managed to install themselves on my PC. So yeah, fuck you, Windows 8. Like overall, and I'm pissed off at Windows 8 to begin with. Uh, I'm having massive, massive problems with USB. Like, uh, uh, I got a hard drive here. Woo, this guy. Big honking four terabyte hard drive that, honestly, I didn't even know I had until I started digging for another hard drive that I did. I knew I had. Uh, big giant four terabyte hard drive that was blank, that was just kind of sitting there doing nothing. I think I know what it was used for, but it's not used for that anymore. So I threw it on my PC, figured... This is going to be the drive that I use for video editing and such because right now my Fraps drive um, is 500 gig. That's not a hell of a lot considering that the last uh, 7 Days to Die video took up 90% of that completely by accident. Recorded that in 1440 by accident. Um, but it's not a lot of space, obviously. So I was thinking, oh, you know, big honking 4 terabyte drive. Well... It kept dying on me. It kept disconnecting itself from the USB. And I would think that it would actually be a problem with the drive itself if it wasn't for the fact that multiple other drives that I have no reason to believe are actually bad were doing exactly the same thing. So initially I was just holding off until I got my new processor and motherboard, though they did get bumped up in level a bit considering it took me nine hours to encode the last video shit you not the last video the one you guys watched what will be yesterday for you guys uh took nine and a half hours to encode a 50 minute video at 1080p nine and a half hours yeah i need a new processor one would think core i7 would be powerful enough but i guess not Ugh. anyways so yeah i all of that so I'm sick of Windows 8 in general. The only reason I'm not uh, installing Windows 7 right now is because I'm uploading, which it's done. Sweet. It finished uploading. It's processing now, so I can do this after I'm done recording. Uh, I was uploading a video, uh, specifically the last God of the Dead video, and it was taking its sweet time to do it because it was 11 and a half gig. One of the, uh, no, the, the largest no, well, I'm not sure. I'm trying to remember if that uh, five hours of the, uh, what did I call that thing? Big Machine of Solar Happiness. Yeah, the five hours of Big Machine of Solar Happiness. I don't remember how big that video file was. But if this wasn't the biggest file, it was definitely the second biggest file at 11 and a half gig. And it takes a little while to upload, so... I was waiting for that, so while I was waiting for that to finish uploading, I was running a few virus scans to see if I can find anything. And in the it just because I was uploading, I gave Windows 8 a second chance. I have found nothing. Like zero. I mean there double click tracking cookies. And that was it. And you know, you get double click tracking cookies just from surfing the web. You don't have to catch a virus, you just get them. It it, it I know, uh, I don't, I, I, there's something inside of me that's telling me not to like double click. I don't remember why, and I don't like it, so I remove the tracking cookies when I find them, but it's nothing really malicious. It's just tracking cookies, so that's not what caused this, um, and I'm not finding anything else, so all of the scans that I'm doing, I'm not finding anything else, so after I'm done recording this, I'm going back to Windows 7 because fuck Windows 8 and it's dumbass security.